Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do the uh, single segment for the week ahead. So this is for singles. You're single, completely single, on your own. You know, you're you're not you're living alone. You're, you're single, single. Water signs: Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. We're gonna get one of these, and then we're gonna use that deck right there. This is for the week ahead. This is in regards to love for the singles. And this is for sun sign, star sign. So if your main sign is Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio, this reading is for you if you are single. Ooh, door to personal healing and happiness. This is what's going on, right? You guys are healing. And this healing is going to lead you to happiness. It's going to lead you to that pot of gold. It's going to bring you a blessing. When you get through this healing process, you're going to get the pot of gold. All right? You're going to get the blessing. But right now, you may be still in that space of healing. You may. Let's get some more cards. You may not be ready for love. I mean, some of you are going to click off at this point because you don't want to hear this. And that's fine. You know, some people, they only want to hear the, the, the unicorns and butterflies. And it doesn't look like that's what this reading is going to be about. So if you are in fantasy land, you should probably not continue to watch. Um, I'm just saying. I'm, gonna, I'm brutally honest. And that's the way it goes. Ace of Cups reverse. Somebody is not emotionally content. They're healing. They're healing. And it starts with self-love. So perhaps you're working on loving yourself at this time. Nurturing yourself. You gotta get. You gotta get here. You gotta get here before... You know, the only person that can make you happy is you. And that is probably the truest statement in the world. You are in charge of your own happiness. And you have to heal you have to heal yourself through self-love before you can find or be with the love of your life. So, ooh, the Ace of Wands. You guys are, are regaining, you're regaining, you're relighting that fire within, right? You're coming up with a new vision. There's a new, there's a new, it looks like you guys are going down a new path. Perhaps you're taking a new journey. Maybe you're not really focused on love. I don't know. I mean, if you're watching this reading, you know, this is a love reading. It's going to be labeled as a love reading. This is a passionate new start. But it's, it starts within yourself. It starts with relighting that fire within. Interesting. Ooh, King of Coins reversed. Queen of Wands. Some of you are focused on the past. You really are. You're focused on the past. And you're not, this, this person is focused on everything but love. So if you're not focused really on love, I mean, you can't, you can't make that shit up. You can't. If you're not really focused on your love, or maybe you feel like you're, you're, you know, you need, you can't, you don't have time for love. Maybe you feel like, you know, sex might be good, but I don't have time for love because I'm focused on my money, I'm focused on my job, I'm focused on my finances, I just don't have time for love. And perhaps during that time, you know, you're focused on everything but love, you're thinking about the past. And people will protect themselves from getting hurt you know, from falling in love by burying themselves in their work, burying themselves in their job, you know, just having um, sexual encounters, not giving their heart away, you know. <clears throat> the past is definitely an issue. It's here. It's here. And it's not that you're going to have a reconciliation with the past. I don't see that. I see that you need to heal from the past. You need to regain your strength. You need to regain your passion. Mm. 
Mm. Conflict. Five of five of wands. There's some conflict here. Tension. Somebody it's like this is like playing a game. Somebody's playing games. Hmm. Ooh. You know, I think that you are not really focused on love right now. I think that you're thinking about it right now. You may be just engaging in sexual activities because the past is still hurting and you need to heal. You need to heal from the past. Yep, there's no victory and success in love because you're not really focused on it. I don't think that you're really ready to open your heart. I think your heart is still hurting. I think that you've been, uh, maybe you've been played by another person, you know. You were, you, uh, you know, were engaged in some sort of competition that maybe you didn't even know you were engaged in. And you're hurt. I think that you're hurting over something. And you're not probably open to an opportunity of love. Maybe, you know, uh, you would be open to having a an affair or a sexual relationship but as far as falling in love it doesn't look like that's what you're really interested in at this point a lot of uh, I mean I can't make this shit up I can't grief sadness uh, regrets over the past I'm really upset over the past that's what this is somebody is really focused on the hurt of the past not realizing that, you know, there is real love elsewhere if you could stop looking at the hurt, stop looking at the pain. You know, grieving. Somebody is going through some sort of a grieving right now. They have not healed. They have not healed. So this is for singles. This is for singles. You know, you, you may be uh, open for, you know, a passionate partnership, but it looks like it could be just sexual, you know. Yep, you need to release. You need you need to you need to close that door that the, whatever it is that you've been holding on to. Close that box. Close it. Close the box. Close it. Close it. Bury it. Throw it. Put it in the dumpster. You're holding on to something that is not holding on to you. You're holding on to something that you can't hold on to. I mean, it's going to, it's falling, it's going to fall out of that box unless you, I mean, either way, you can't hold on to it. You can't hold on. It's not stable anymore. It's not secure. You could be dealing with, um, any sign, but whoever it is, I see that you're, you're going through some sort of grieving process right now over the past. And you probably have an opportunity for a passionate new start with somebody, but you're probably not willing to give them your heart because you're still healing. You're still healing from some sort of conflict that you were probably engaged in with somebody that broke your heart. I don't feel like you have healed yet. So I feel like this is a week of healing that will lead to happiness. It will. It will lead to happiness, but I just don't feel like right now is the time. I feel like right now is a time of uh Re, re finding that passion, relighting that fire within, and you may you may engage in um, you know lust, lust uh, opportunities. But as far as you falling in love, I don't I don't feel it. I don't feel like you're ready for that. I don't see any victory and success here with the six of wands. It's like you're not ready. You're not ready. You're not ready. You're still hurting. You're still hurting over something. There's no doubt. Something from the past. And you need to, you need to really, I'm going to put this right here. You need to put yourself in the driver's seat. You need to find that force within you to leave this behind, to leave the past behind. You need to, you need, you're the driver of your own life. You need to find that mental strength to head in a new direction. You have to, you have to, you need to find the discipline within you to stop focusing on the hurt it's your decision. You have to make a choice. You have to accept the change. You can't hold on to the past and expect the future to be bright. That, this is the past. This is the future. So you can't have. You can't have both. You got to let go of the past.
You have to cross that bridge. You have to, and this is the past and the future again. Again, it is. You have to go through that new door once and for all. Do not look back. Burn the fucking bridge. Excuse my language. You have, you choose your path. Somebody is not allowing love to come into their lives because they're holding on to some sort of hope that their past is going to be rekindled and that is not the case. It's not the case. This person that you are holding on to is focused on somebody else. You could be missing an opportunity. You could be missing an opportunity with a soulmate. With a soulmate. This is a soulmate connection. It is. This is missing an opportunity because you're just not crossing that bridge. you got to cross that bridge. You do. So I feel like right now you're not grounded. You're not grounded. You're not being realistic. You're not um, finding the discipline that you need to let go of the past. And you're probably missing an opportunity, probably with an earth sign. Could be an earth sign. Uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, could be anybody. Um, because you need to find your confidence and your courage and your strength and your mental willpower and discipline to not look back. To focus on the future. So, you know, I feel like right now you guys are stuck. I do. I feel like you are stuck and you need to find that strength to take the lead in your own life. To not look back. Do not look back. So I think you're single because you're choosing to be single. I think there's an opportunity for a passionate beginning with someone. I do, but I don't, I don't feel you, I don't feel like you have any confidence or trust or faith to really let anybody into your heart you're afraid to take a risk there's no trust there's no faith i mean i just that card just summed up those last, last sentence i said afraid really afraid to take a risk and give somebody your heart but i do feel like you probably have a an earth sign that is it could be a fire sign as well but it looks like it's an earth sign that You are probably, you have an opportunity to have a passionate new start with, but you can't see it. You can't see it because of the past is clouding your ability to move forward. So I think that you guys are going through a period of, of healing and that your happiness is, is waiting. It's waiting for you to take it. It's waiting for you to grab it. It's waiting for you to make a choice. These are bo both choices. They are. You have to choose to truly move forward. I mean, I can't, I can't make this shit up. So I think that uh, this is a time of you, you know, maybe in getting involved or accepting a, um, you know, sexual partner. But as far as allowing yourself to fall in love, I don't see that happening. I don't. So that's what I see. I think that you do have an opportunity here. I do, but I think that you can't, you're not seeing it clearly. You're not, you're not seeing it clearly because of the past. So do I see new love coming in? There's an opportunity for a soulmate connection here. There is, but I think that this is missing it, missing the opportunity because you've got to cross that bridge and allow, allow the, 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 the bridge that needs to be burned to be burned. Let it fall. Let it go. Stop looking back. Allow yourself to be loved. So, yeah. I think you need to find the confidence and the courage to make a difficult choice to stop, stop grieving over the past. You have an opportunity for the Two of Cups, love with somebody else. It's your choice. So it's your decision. You have a choice. Yeah, yeah, 
You could, you could, you could have a new beginning with somebody. You could, and it could start this week. But you're grieving. You're grieving. Stop. I mean, you can. You can. You have an opportunity for love. All you gotta do is just take it. And that's what I have. Good luck. <laughs>